Flave City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you in the Walmart parking lot, about to go in store and do another shop along and then go home and make a recipe. And I figured now that it's officially the heart of fall season, we should do a baking sweet inspired recipe. So tell me how this sounds. We go in store, we get all the ingredients. Then we go home and we make a cinnamon apple cake with homemade salted caramel sauce. And the entire recipe is gluten-free, dairy-free, and paleo. Plus, this video is sponsored by Walmart Plus. You might uh, remember they sponsored a couple more videos in the past. They wanted to do another one because the Walmart Plus membership is pretty darn epic. When you click my link down below, you not only get a free trial, but the Walmart Plus membership will give you free same-day delivery of groceries from the store to your house. Better yet, the prices are the same as the store. There's no hidden fees, there's no markups, and if you get two deliveries per month, the membership pays for itself. So click my link down below. I scored you guys a free trial to check out Walmart Plus. All right, less talking, more shopping. Let's go into Walmart. The baking aisle here has some real pickers for our caramel apple cake, starting with one of my favorite sweeteners of all time, coconut sugar. This is such good stuff. It's a two pound bag here for $7, that's a good deal. And this is a paleo sweetener. Coconut sugar comes from the nectar of the coconut blossom. And because of that, it has this natural caramel, nutty, like baked flavor to it. It's fantastic. It's also a lower glycemic sweetener. And when we make the caramel sauce with this and coconut milk and a touch of sugar, it's amazing. It tastes better than real refined sugar and you can't even tell the difference. This is a must, so we'll put that in our cart. And then if you actually, if you wanted to make the cake a little lower carb, you can just use monk fruit sweetener. And this is nice because it's a one-to-one -one replacement with uh, cane sugar, and that would be much lower carb. And if you come down here to the flowers section here, we talked about this in the previous video for the meatball soup. I'm gonna use almond flour as the main flour here. Just once again, make sure it's blanched almond flour. You don't want the skins on there. The skins are for almond meal. It's completely different. This is perfect for paleo baking. It's once again, a two pound bag for $10. That is a great deal. We have a couple options of fat to cook our cake with and Walmart always has some really interesting fats. Look at this, duck fat, pork lard here, good kinds of ghee. I've never actually seen the Walmart brand grass-fed ghee. We could use ghee, but I wanna stick in the coconut theme. And somewhere down, here we go, down yonder we have this. Here's virgin unrefined coconut oil. I prefer the virgin one. The naturally refined is just one step more processed. I want that virgin coconut oil. And remember, coconut oil is a fantastic fat for baking. It's a much heart healthier uh, swap than canola oil. And it has something called lauric acid, which is actually very good for you. So I'm gonna grab one of these here and that does it for the fat. And remember, this is a great aisle here, but you could scoop all the ingredients for this recipe using Walmart Plus membership. It'll be delivered to your house for free the same day. When you click my link down below, you get the free trial. So definitely try that out. Oh my, oh my, look who's at Walmart now. Hue chocolate bars. Look at this, salty dark chocolate. The reason why I love these is if you look at the ingredients, look what it's sweetened with there, coconut sugar. So it's a paleo chocolate bar and the coconut sugar gives it a nice nutty, almost caramel flavor. And that price is dynamite. And the reason why I love Hue Chocolate, all their chocolate products is because unlike most chocolate, that's sweetened with cane sugar. This is paleo coconut sugar. So this is so darn good. I'm very happy to see it at Walmart and that price is dynamite. I'm seeing more and more pasture raised egg options here at Walmart. These are organic, happy egg company, pasture raised. And this is my good old stammy buy of Vital Farms Pasture Raised. These are the basic ones. That's a good price, but I'm gonna get this one. Happy Egg Company is not only organic, not only truly pasture raised, that price of $4.92 is fantastic for organic pasture raised eggs. Great deal, I would totally scoop that. All right, here's two ingredients we're not gonna use that much of, but I think it's really important you buy the right one. And the first one will be vanilla. You always wanna splurge and get the real vanilla extract here. Uh, sometimes people buy this vanilla flavor here, and that's just artificial vanilla flavor, usually with other preservatives, so I know it's less expensive, but in my opinion, for baking, you really wanna get the pure vanilla extract. But salt is always used in baking, and when you make the salted caramel sauce with coconut milk for this recipe, you're gonna love it. You probably wanna double the recipe, this is the kind of salt I'm gonna to add to the caramel sauce. It's Himalayan pink salt. Why? Because this is unrefined salt. The kind of salts that we traditionally cook with, like iodized uh, 
table salt or any kind of kosher salt over there. That's a bleached, processed, and refined salt. And they actually add anti-caking agents to it. So it's something I don't like because the flavor is pure sodium chloride. When you get unrefined salt like this, there's other trace minerals in here, which gives it a very good flavor and it tastes better because of the natural minerals in here. So I'm gonna grab this. This is a nice price and I'm telling you, you only need a little bit for recipes, but it makes a big difference the kind of salt you cook with. All right, y'all, I got everything I need for this recipe. Let's head home and let's bake a cake. Turns out I forgot a couple items for the recipe. So I logged onto my Walmart Plus membership, got some organic apples, some organic ground cinnamon, scheduled same day delivery, and the groceries were there. All right, let's start off by making the caramel sauce. Add one can of coconut milk to a pot, along with half a cup of coconut sugar and a couple pinches of salt. Give it a good mix and bring that to a simmer and let it cook for 45 minutes. Meanwhile, crack a few eggs into a large bowl. Look at the color of those pasture-raised eggs. They're beautiful. And then add two egg whites. Go in with one cup of coconut sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and mix that for about three minutes until it's light and fluffy and looks something like that. Then go in with three quarters of a cup of the virgin coconut oil melted. Mix that for about 30 seconds and set it aside. For the dry ingredients, add two cups of almond flour to a large bowl along with half a cup of tapioca starch or arrowroot starch. Add two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and a good grating of fresh nutmeg. Add two teaspoons of baking powder, and then give it a good mix. Then pour the wet batter onto the dry batter, and give it a good mix up. Now it's time for the apple part of the cake. Go ahead and grate two peeled apples and squeeze out as much moisture as possible. Well, you want them relatively dry, and then add it to the cake. It's gonna add a nice sweetness and a great flavor to the cake then pour it into a prepared springform pan and top it with some chopped and toasted walnuts. Bake it at 350 for about 35 minutes. Meanwhile, the caramel sauce is done. It's reduced by more than half. Add some vanilla extract, give it a good mix up, and then take it off the heat to thicken. It's time to finish the cake. It's cooled down, it looks great. Transfer it to a platter, and then check out that caramel sauce. Once it cools down, it thickens into this luscious, rich sauce. It's so great. Just go ahead and drizzle all over the cake. Don't be shy. The more the merrier. And cut a big piece here. Now just look at that cake. It's uber moist inside thanks to the apples. A little more caramel sauce on top. And my friends, we are ready to eat. <laughs> Desi's looking at this right now because she has a cup of coffee and she wants to crush this. It is so darn good. Forget about the fact that it's gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo. This is bomb.com. I'm going to put the recipe for this cake, which is perfect for this time of year, in the description box. Make it. Also, first line of the description box is my link to get you a free trial for the Walmart Plus membership. Try that out. Remember, it's free same-day delivery of the groceries in store to your house. Uh, but that is it. Thank you to Walmart Plus for sponsoring this video. I will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.